Hi guys, welcome back to Fit Life SD TV. Today we're going to be concluding the research chemicals that we recommend, and today we're going to be focusing in on MK677. It's going to increase your levels of IGF-1 and growth hormone because it is a growth hormone secretagogue, and we know that growth hormone does turn into IGF-1. This is a ghrelin agonist, meaning it is gonna cause your ghrelin, which is your hunger hormone, to go up, okay? It's just part of the nature of how it works. So it's gonna be good if you're a hard gainer, meaning you have to get more calories in. It is gonna increase appetite, but if you're someone that's trying to keep your body fat down, it's something that you're gonna to have to overcome uh, if you wanna take advantage of the fat burning effects. We all know that growth hormone does help your body to burn more fat, but if you overeat more than the fat you're burning, it's gonna have an opposite effect. Um, upon taking this, I remember feeling better rested than I've ever felt in my entire life. Uh, my wife, she reported the same thing, so it's definitely something that can aid you in sleep. Uh, but what are you going to expect other than those things? We all know growth hormone and IGF-1 is going to help us to increase uh, lean body mass. It's also going to help us to increase bone density. It's going to help us to uh, induce hyperplasia a lot of people believe which means if you have one muscle cell it can split it into two and then then whatever anabolic processes you choose to use you can actually make your muscles bigger okay um, so it's good for that what else is it good for it's good for tissue repair things that normally are slow to heal and things that people believe may not ever heal sometimes it can kind of give our body a bump in that direction it's really good for healing it's very good for increasing lean body mass um, what are some things to look out for? If you are someone who has a history of insulin resistance or diabetes, uh, you definitely want to get that checked out with your doctor first because it will uh, decrease insulin sensitivity, which if you're already fighting that could in turn turn into uh, diabetes, all right? That's anything that deals with any kind of growth hormone, whether you are getting a growth hormone injection from the doctor or you're taking a growth hormone secretagogue or even a peptide. Uh, insulin sensitivity and insulin resistance is something you always want to look out for. So always talk to your doctor about that. One thing you could use to combat that that we talked about in the past is carterine or GW501516. Uh, how it reverses some of the cholesterol effects you get from SARMs. Uh, GW501516 is also known to help increase sens uh, insulin sensitivity. So if insulin sensitivity is a concern of yours, you can either not take it until you're cleared with your doctor, or if you choose to, you could take it along with carterine, and that should help combat some of the effects. So the quick takeaway, it's gonna help you with lean body mass, it's gonna help with bone density, it's gonna help with tissue repair, it's gonna help you to sleep, it's gonna increase appetite, um, and you also wanna look out for any insulin sensitivity issues that you might or might not have. So if you want to know more about it, uh, you can DM us, uh, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button, and uh, we're going to have more for you in the future.